All right, guys, we've just finished uh, finished training, um, finished picking up some supplies for the South Island roadie that I'm going on. Just a little adventure. Um, probably gonna go do some hiking, maybe some fishing. Um, obviously, obviously gotta eat some food, uh, some good food. So um, yeah, picking up supplies. I packed up the van yesterday. So today we're driving um, down to Wellington. So about a three hour drive away um, and then got the ferry supposed to be arriving at about midnight so probably means going to be getting off the ferry at one but yeah i'll take you guys through the journey and uh yeah let's go all right team we are in the car now all packed up um and i just realized that i want to get a phone mount so i'm going to pop into a little store that's going to be the first stop before we even leave town um so get a phone mount so i can video some of the journey um but yeah we'll see you at the store all right we're back out we just got this one so now to try and uh, stick it on there and see see how it works all right, car mount is in place. Time to hit the road. since I've uh, man I'm looking forward to this road trip honestly um, I've been traveling so long that it's kind of been weird coming back so uh, really looking forward to just kind of having this little adventure um, so probably gonna be down there for a couple of weeks driving down I'm mostly focusing on the on the top of the, the South Island um, so I'll be heading into Picton tonight and then driving I've never been to St. Anord, so I might go do some hiking there. Um, I'll stop into to Blenheim on the way, um, and then, yeah, I don't know. I'll take you guys for the journey. So I haven't figured out the whole plan yet, kind of making it up as I go along, uh, like a lot of what I do when I travel. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Um, let's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice weather here today, so uh, let's hope it stays this way. Unbelievable, um, and a bunch of other words with the bull in it. <laughs> um, but we're just going to pull into the BP here because I have a caffeine problem and I really want a energy drink. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I also need to send a couple of emails um, and then, yeah, we'll keep hitting the road, head to Samson, and then we'll be straight through, unless I feel like stopping, which I might because I'm really early. Um, into Wellington so here we are just pulling into the BP now just gonna find me a car park in the shade hopefully maybe not definitely not there's no shade um, we're gonna drive around oh there's toilets yeah I should probably get a toilet too I'll just pull in here all right perfect parking skills on point all right time to use the bathroom send some emails and we'll hit the road and they got the bp behind me um unfortunately i'm not hungry because i normally get the chicken and chips from Foursquare, which is over there um but they also got this place called country fried chicken which and bulls kebabs both of which places i've been recommending but i had like seven or eight boiled eggs for lunch so i'm not too hungry um but we'll have to get some food before i hop on the ferry because everything on there is going to be pretty pricey probably all right i know i said i wasn't hungry but i lied i got a blue v and i got a classic mince and cheese pie this is like a staple of the kiwi diet you know um i haven't this is my first pie since coming back so i was like i've got to eat one um when I walked out of the petrol station, I just fully watched someone get like backed into. Um, but yeah, anyway, back on track. First pie since being back in NZ. Oh, let's get it. 
It's actually really hot in here. I need to put down my window. Actually, let's try some of the Blue V first. Haven't had one of these since being back either. I don't know if V is a, I don't think V is a New Zealand brand, but they've changed the packaging of this bottle. It's different than last time. Oh, that's good. Have they changed the recipe? This tastes slightly different than last time. Mm. Oh, still sugary and caffeiney though. So good. All right. All right, get into this fucking pie. Fuck yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. My God. Oh, yeah. Look at, focus, focus, God damn it. Focus on this pie. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't that look delicious? Mmm. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Mmm. Mmm. God damn. God damn that was good pie. BP does pretty good pies, not gonna lie. Mmm. Mmm. Cheesy. Mincy. Delicious. Mmm. Yeah. When I used to work as a beekeeper, man, I used to live on like pies and energy drinks. Or chicken and chips, you know. Those were like my staples, you know, because you're always on the road, so just get whatever you can get from a petrol station, fuel station, gas station, whatever. Um, or a four square. Um, but, oh, so good. Mmm. 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 Oh. oh. This is way too hot for me to be eating. But. Mm. Holy fuck. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh Yeah, that was good. <coughs> Alright, we're about to hop back on the road. Fuck where are my sunglasses there they are. Um so I was gonna film and show you guys the views on the ferry and then I realized hold up it's leaving at like 8 30 pm so I'm not sure there's gonna be much light left to see anything. Um but if there is I'll I'll film that. Um and yeah, for, for people who are coming to New Zealand and ferry cost is about, I think I paid like, it, it varies like depending on availability and stuff, but it's about 200 and, 230, I think I paid 230 New Zealand dollars one way. Um, yeah, for the, for the journey. Um, so yeah, uh, but 
on the road again and still a nice day but often what happens the closer you get to Wellington the more cloudy it gets so that might be that might be happening today but we'll we'll see We've got someone driving 30 kilometers in a 50k zone. Get off the road! What are you doing? What is wrong with these people? Speed up just before you have to stop. Great idea. What a good driver. just driving through Levin at the moment um, they've actually got a pretty cool like park here with like a human sized hamster wheel thing um, which when I was a kid I used to love running on and actually I would still love running on it um, but yeah I think I might just stop there have another toilet break because all the caffeine I'm consuming um, is yeah making me need to go toilet so yeah we're in Levin we're probably like hour and a half hour from Wellies, um, somewhere around there, depends on what the traffic's up to. Okay, I'm just driving past the park now. We're not gonna stop in there because it looks like there is, as you can see, lots of cars on that side of me, um, and I am not gonna wanna be pulling back into that traffic, so we're just gonna skip that, uh, carry on our journey, and then hopefully have a clean, smooth entrance into Wellington. Um, Cause I'm gonna be there quite early, I'm gonna see if I can like just park my car at the ferry um, and then just go for a little walk around Wellies. Um, maybe grab some food for later because when I get to the other side it's going to be like 1am. Um, so I'm probably not going to want to have to like, there won't be food, anything open where I'm going to be. Um, so probably grab some snacks before that. But yeah, um, I will probably be seeing you guys in Wellies. Just got to uh, Blue Bridge, um, but it looks like the vehicle check-in's closed. Uh, to be fair, I'm like two hours before the, the final check-in time. So uh, I'm just gonna walk into the main office, see what the go is, what time this place opens. Um, I'm not really in a car park at the moment, so we'll, we'll see what's going on, eh? Alright, so as you can see that was inside the building. Doesn't look like anyone's getting on board yet. I don't really know what time um, we're supposed to be ready, but I'll have a check on the ticket, see if it says anything that I didn't see. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll just, yeah, I'm not really at all in a car park, so I don't know. If I sit in my car, they can't turn me away, so it's all good. So I've checked in now. Um, I've got to be back in about an hour and 10 minutes um, to get ready to drive on board. We're in Windy Wellington. This place has earned its name because it always seems to be windy. Um, we've got the the beehive there behind me, which is the uh, the government buildings. Um, and yeah, it's fun. 
yeah, actually, I'm gonna go back to the car, get something warmer, have a little walk around for about an hour, um, and then, yeah, we'll be on the ferry. Good to go. Alright, we're just in the new world now. I'm um, gonna probably grab some snacks. I don't know what to grab, but something for later. Um, because I looked on the Blue Bridge menu and it looks like they finish up with a lot of stuff kind of early, so I'm just gonna grab some snacks for later for when we arrive because I'll probably be hungry before I go to bed anyway. Um, yeah. I'm so tempted just to eat a tub of ice cream. I just want ice cream and chocolate. Maybe I get me a mammoth. Coffee. All right, we just got back from New World. We um, bought some, we didn't buy ice cream, but we bought three little chocolate bars. We got white chocolate, milk chocolate, and the caramel. Um, we've got like 100 grams of beetroot salad, about 100 grams of roast beef, and a raspberry bun, which we're gonna eat now. Why are we gonna eat it now? Because I'm hungry. I want to eat it now. Okay. <laughs> yes, cream bun. Oh, the lighting's not the best, but yeah. All right. Cream bun. Yum, yum, yum. I feel like... Mm, I think that's real cream in there. It's not bad. Um, the bread on these cream buns is nearly the best, but... Oh, fuck it. Look. Bread and the cream on me. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Good little snack. The cream almost tastes a little bit salty, which is kind of weird. It doesn't taste off, but I know what the salt is from. That's my snack for now. I'll probably save the beetroot salad and roast beef um, for dinner. Mm. Mm. So my tribute snack, most likely. Mm. All right, feeling a bit tired, haven't bought it yet, um, but just waiting around for, I don't know, probably only a few minutes. They said we're boarding at 7.30 and it's like, 727 or something like that now um so just edited some videos some of this video and also some of some of the stuff i filmed overseas um which hopefully i'll get out within the next week or so um i've been procrastinating that for like six months um <laughs> but finally getting around to doing it um so yeah gonna be taking some of the chocolate bars on board with me um to eat but oh i'm so ready for a sleep now
so as you can see we're on the ferry now um doesn't seem very crowded today which is like this i think it's the first time i've been on one of these and it's not crowded um and it's also like i don't think i've been on this boat before but we've got beautiful wellington harbour behind me um and it's actually surprisingly good weather so the clouds i was talking about did not come um actually is that another upper area we're gonna see if we can uh, get higher unless it's blocked off trying to find a power socket and I found like the one power socket they seem to have on this boat. No, I'm joking. I saw like, okay, two, two other power sockets, but one was like up in the roof and I'm like, how am I supposed to plug into anything into that? Um, so I'm just going to settle in for the next few hours, get to editing and stuff and drink water. I actually don't know what's going on. Like, it's so, like, empty. I'm like, I don't know why. I've never... It's not even like it's a, a weird time. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to eat some chocolate. I ate the other chocolate bar before I even got on. I'm not going to lie. Man, this ship is, like... I think it's pretty rough out there. I'm hoping the car stays upright because it's kind of, like... Tipping me from one side to the other quite a bit. Um, I, ho I hope I didn't leave anything. My beetroot salad is sitting on my seat. I hope it doesn't tip over. I need to eat my beetroot salad. So I'm just walking around because I am pretty cold. And also just got news that um, State Highway 1 is closed down from Picton. So basically, I'm not going to be able to drive to the campsite that I thought I was going to be able to drive to tonight. Um, so I'm going to have to try and find somewhere to park up and just sleep in the van, which is what I was going to do anyway, but like, um, yeah, not too sure. So yeah, apparently there's been a bad crash. So I'm going to find somewhere to park up, get some rest for the night and then figure out what to do in the morning. I literally just went through to the kitchen just to have a look around because they're all closed. And then it said they had a little free tray. So I've got like little brownies and slices and got some cheese and crackers. Brownie slices. Nice and delicious. Mm. Delicious and free. Mm. 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 Next up we got cheese and crackers. No one else is getting this free food. I don't know what's wrong with you. I've taken like eight slices. Because I just keep going back and no one's going up there to get it. So I'm like, what more for me? Alright, just getting off now. I'm gonna get to the cars and then um, work our way off the ferry eventually and then find a car park. So I will update once I've found my car park. I'm gonna be eating my beetroot salad and my roast beef now because I can't be bothered waiting and I don't know how long I'm on the ferry for waiting to get off, so yeah. I also couldn't find my fork. Mm -hmm. Vegetable, just there. I even got a cheeky little bit of feta in there. Fancy. Mm. Mm. Beet 
fruit salad. It was a success. Baby beetroot and feta salad. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now I've got two slices, two slices of roast beef. Nom nom nom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love a bit of roast beef. Slice number two. And that's the meal. Pretty good, pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Enjoyed that. Mm. That's good. That's good.